Hello and welcome to probably the last part about the SwiftUI calculator. Today we will add the functionality of the action buttons to our app. And yeah, I would say let's get started. So first of all we will add two variables to our um, calculation state. The first is stored number and this is an optional because the stored number should or uh, should only be used if for example we type in 8 and then we type divide we want to store the 8 in the stored number but before we have uh, used any of these action buttons we want the stored number is equal to nil and then we also have a variable called stored action with, which is of type action view dot action and it is also optional because this um, the same thing as uh, here we, if we uh, like multiply for example we want to store that in our calculation state so if uh, later we uh, click on the equal sign we want to know what uh, what action we have uh, clicked before and yeah so uh, what we will do next is in the action view we add a new uh, function we can make this a private function which is called tab and we want this uh, function to be called whenever uh, our button is clicked. So in our on tap gesture, we just say tap uh, self dot tapped. And in the tapped, we switch um, our action. And we have three different cases. The first case is if we have clear. Then the second case is if we have the equal and the default case is if it is one of the other ones. Um, yeah, so first of all, in the clear, if, somebody, if someone clicks clear, we just want our state.current number to be zero. We want our state stored number to be nil and we want the state dot stored action also to be nil of course and yeah so next if somebody clicks the equal we first of all need to uh, want to see if we have a stored action and we can see if that's the case by using a card statement and the guard statement uh, just says um, on the right side we have an optional and we say guard let stored action and the guard uh, keyword looks if this optional is nil and if it is nil uh, it jumps to this closure and if it is not nil we can go on and we will do another guard statement for our stored number which is state that stored number and if the stored number is not set we also want to return and yeah so if we have uh, managed all of this we want to calculate our result which is the stored action dot calculate and here we first uh, take the uh, not stored action the stored number because the stored number was typed in first and then the state dot current number and yeah so we can see that our um, calculate 
gives us another optional. So what we do is we use another guard statement to eliminate the optional. And yeah, so if we got a result that's uh, not an option, uh, that's not nil, we say the current number is equal to result. And of course, we have to uh, reset our stored values. So stored number is equal to nil. And the stored action is also nil. And yeah, so that's basically it for the equal sign. And last of all, if we hit another button, one that's not one of these two, we just want to have our stored number to be the state dot current number. Then we want the current number to be zero. And we want our uh, stored action to be the action that is stored in the button. And yeah, that's basically it for the calculator. It should run now. So, okay, I need to resume it. But, um, yeah, so let's see if it works. So, uh, 36 plus 4 should be 40. And yeah, divided by 10 is equal to 4. And yeah, then. If we hit equal another time, nothing happens, but that's as we want it. If we hit clear, uh, it goes back to zero. Zero plus one is equal to one, of course. Plus five should be six. And yeah, so as you can see, our calculator works. And yeah, that was the six part tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you liked it, uh, give it a like and yeah, subscribe to my channel.